We just move the words about a little bit. Put that sentence there, put that sentence there. New article. Look what I did, boss. I'm going to the pub. Hi, it's me again. And I just wanted to talk about this one quickly because I've had it bookmarked for a while. I forgot all about it. Do you remember a little while ago, maybe a month ago, something like that, I had a bit of a, an issue with something I saw in Lad Bible written by Tom Earnshaw, who was giving out really crap advice about the TV license. But he hadn't even tried old Tom Earnshaw. Well, I clicked his name, and there was some other stuff there. And I don't know why I clicked his name. Oh, God, I just clicked his name again. I wish I hadn't wasted my time. But anyway, I saw this one, and I thought it needed talking about. Martin Lewis's expert advice on when you actually need a TV license. Okay. Martin Lewis, well-respected industry expert in saving money. Better than I'll ever be. And he's given advice on when you actually need a TV license. And this is written by Tom Earnshaw. I think Tom Earnshaw's about to redeem himself. I promise you I haven't read ahead on this. All I saw was the article, bookmarked it, forgot all about it. And now it was published, what was it, January 7th? Oh, no, he's up. it was published on January 17th, and then he updated it as well. But anyway, let's have a look at it together. I'm confident. I'm confident, Tom Ironshaw. With the way we watch content changing on a consistent basis, the law surrounding needing a TV license can feel a little ambiguous. No. If you don't watch or record anything that's been broadcast or access BBC iPlayer to watch BBC stuff, you don't need one. doesn't change. It's not confusing. It's dead simple. The reason you might find it ambiguous, Tom Earnshaw, is because TV licensing keep trying to make it as confusing as possible. But it's, re it's really not. There are specific circumstances in which you do and don't need to cough up for the annual charge, which is set by the government, rather than the BBC. Also, the government said they're going to fund it for all over 75s as, a, as an election promise, and then, then reneged on that and told the BBC to deal with it, and the BBC went, it's not our problem. But that's it. I've talked about that before. We're not talking about that here. We're talking about Martin Lewis's brilliant advice that he's about to give us. In case it doesn't go without saying, you're going to need to pay the licence if you watch BBC TV channels or the iPlayer. When, where's the advice? But it's not a mandatory payment. Hello, Tom Earnshaw. And there are certain situations where you won't need to pay anything depending on what you watch. Okay. Here we go. This is going to be good. I'm sure of it. Over on Martin Lewis's Money Saving Expert website, I think a better source for this kind of information is www.tvlicensestop.co.uk. But then I am biased because it's my website. Anyway, his team has put together advice on specific situations that will mean you will have to pay or not. That will mean you will have... Journalism. Right. Let's begin. When you do not need a TV license. Come on, Tom Earnshaw and Martin Lewis. What about if you only watch TV on catch-up? The answer is no. You do not need to pay for a TV license as long as you don't watch the iPlayer. ITVX and Channel 4 are fair game. That's how I say it. Someone's watched my videos. On-demand content isn't an iPlayer. It doesn't need a license. Okay. So if all you tune into is Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, payment is not needed. Tom Earnshaw, you have redeemed yourself with the with the help of Martin Lewis. When do you need a TV license? Right, so you will definitely need a TV license if you're watching live television as it's aired. True, on any channel or device. That goes for anything on any... I've got to start reading ahead. That goes for anything on any channel, such as live sports. Yeah, I know, Wimbledon B. A tricky one. If you don't watch live television, as he said, but you do record it for later on the likes of a Sky Plus box, you will need to pay the license. It's not a weird one. It's You can't watch or record anything as it's been broadcast. It's not a weird one. You are technically recording live broadcast TV, but I don't understand the point of recording live broadcast TV anymore. Anyway, Sky Plus is dead, isn't it? Why would you forget to record something? You can just go and catch up, go on ITVX or Now TV or whatever you want. You can stream it. Now, does any do people? Does anyone out there still record stuff on Sky? Oh, actually, my mum does. My mum does. Sorry, mum. What happens if you don't pay for a TV license? Well, when it comes to not paying the TV license, when you should be, the BBC told Lad Bible this week, information direct from the horse's mouth. This should be fantastic. So the BBC told Lad Bible this week how it really does try and do everything it can to come to some kind of solution before pursuing the matter in the courts. Okay. Maybe do some journalism here. 
Tom Earnshaw, because didn't we read about or hear about recently the people with some disabilities and some mental health disorders who were doorstepped by one of the goons because their license had expired and sold a license at the doorstep and yet still taken to court because that was in the public interest to do, even though there were mitigating circumstances like that person wasn't in charge of their own finances at the time because of their mental health. No, they got sold a license on the doorstep and still taken to court. And that's not a one-off. There are many of these now. Maybe maybe have a little look at that one. Maybe have a little look at that one, Tom Earnshaw, rather than just believing what TV licensing tell you. TV licensing who are in the business of selling TV licenses. So, mate, yeah, have a look at that, Tom. A TV licensing spokesperson told Lad, a TV license provides cover for anyone watching and recording a TV program. Yeah, it does. That's correct. Information is available on a TV licensing website. It's not clear and concise information. It's not telling you fibs per se, but they're trying to make it as confusing as possible because the more confused you are, the more you're like, I can't be asked to learn about it. It's not worth the risk. It's £169.50. We'll just bloody pay it, shall we? That's what they try and do. TV licensing's primary aim is to help people stay licensed and avoid prosecution, which is always a lot. It's not always a last resort. You love it. You love it. And you love getting your PR agencies to get newspapers, especially local newspapers, to print the names of people in their local community who have been prosecuted for TV license offences because that helps sell more licences. You can't be sent to prison for not paying your TV licence, but you can be fined up to £1,000. This could be up to £2,000 if you're one of the few people who live on the island of Guernsey. Lucky I don't live on Guernsey then. But also, the one uh, uh, the £1,000, they keep threatening it. I've never once heard of it being given out. I look at all the court cases that are published, I look at it all. The average fine is about 140 150 quid at the minute. It's not £1,000. It is not. And you can't be sent to prison for not paying your TV licence. Technically correct, right? But if you go to court and you get the fine for not paying your TV license fee and you flat refuse to pay the fine, contempt of court, and you can get a custodial sentence for that. The only way you got that custodial sentence was not paying the fine for a TV license offence. So you can go to prison for not paying your TV license fee. How to cancel your TV license? No, I'm, not, I'm, I'm done with you. I'm done with you, Tom Earnshaw. Oh, he's got another one. Look, March 26th. How can you avoid the TV license price rise? It's just one week away. Oh, God. Hang on. I'm, I'm going to have a look, see if there's anything in here that's pissing me off as well. No, there was nothing in there of interest. So that was the third TV license article that I've read from Tom Earnshaw at Lad Bible. And Tom, I'm sure you're a lovely bloke, mate. But I'm not sure journalism is your forte. That's the third one of these articles I've read from him with the exact same content just mushed around a little bit. And Martin Lewis's expert advice, where's this then? Where's this? You're trying to sell it like you've spoken to Martin Lewis, but you haven't. You went on his website briefly and copied some information that you already knew. Maybe go on tvlicensestop.co.uk and uh, get some proper information off there. I had such, I thought me and you were going to make up, Tom. I had high hopes for that, mate. Gutted. I'm not gutted. Ah, oh, well, never mind, eh? I won't give him a good score because it's just the same article that he's put up every time he talks about the TV licensing for Lad Bible. We just moves the words about a little bit. Put that sentence there, put that sentence there. New article. Look what I did, boss. I'm going to the pub. That's Tom Earnshaw's day at work, I would. I would hazard a guess at. Anyway, let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. If you want to read the article, it's down in the description thing down there as well. So go and click that. Leave your comment while you're down there doing that. Hit all the buttons and everything as well. If you do that, hopefully I'll see you in another video again soon, won't I? Ta-da.